I released the first look at Bricks components in version 2.0 a week or two ago, and one of the comments that came up was, this would be much more useful if we could use this inside WordPress core in Gutenberg. Well, with the 2.1 release, we can do that. So in this video, I want to give you a very brief overview of how to enable that functionality and what it actually does. So let's take a quick look. So first of all, we're going to need to make sure we enable this feature. So what you need to do is come into your Bricks settings, into the general tab, and then you've got the block editor. You'll see we've got this option now, which is a new experimental feature. So it is experimental, and this is the, still the beta version of it. So please do only use this on a test site. Don't use this on a live site. You're just asking for trouble if you do. So what you need to do is choose one of the three options. By default, disabled is the option that you have. But you've also got enable individual components manually, so we can choose what components we do and don't want to give access to. And also the third option is to enable all components automatically. So every component you create will be available inside WordPress core, inside the block editor. I'm going to choose the manual option because I want to show you some of the additional options this brings with it, but you choose whatever you think is relevant. Once you've done that, hit save settings and you have that option available to you. Now, if we jump into the builder itself, you'll see I'm inside the component section. I've created this hero section and I've applied a couple of different sort of settings to the component itself. What I've applied isn't particularly important because, well, all these options in the same way we have them available inside the Bricks editor, if you use components only inside there, we'll have the same inside the block editor as well. So I've just made a few different parts of this overall design selectable. So once that's been done, let's jump now over into a normal page inside Gutenberg and take a look at how these actually work. So I've created a page and you can use this as pages or posts or custom post types, doesn't matter. We're going to come out to the plus in the top left hand corner and scroll through and inside there you'll see I've got three different components we can select from. If we choose the hero section, that's the one I've just shown you. So let's add that in. You know, first of all, let's make sure that we can get this to go full screen because, well, that's the way it's intended to be seen. So what we'll do is we'll click, we'll choose the option for group, and then we can set this to be full width. There we go. So now you can see this looks pretty much exactly the same as we see inside Bricks. However, there are a couple of caveats here to bear in mind. First of all, any kind of custom styling you may set up may not necessarily show inside the normal block editor. This is something that is a limitation right now of the block editor itself. But when you load this into the front end of the site, any styling classes, global classes, variables, and all those kinds of things that you apply to that component will be used on the front end of the site. So just bear that in mind. Might look a little bit squiffy inside the core blocks. So what do we have? Well, let's select the block itself. So we come up to the options here, expand our group out and choose our hero section. Over on the right hand side, all the properties that I've set up for my component are now available to me. So I want to change the button for the text. You can see that updates in real time. You want to select a background class. You can see we've got this background one which has a different background, and background two, which again has a different background. Some strange quirks inside here. You've noticed that all the spacing kind of just suddenly disappeared. It's a quirk. You can choose then anything else. So the main heading, I can change that if I want to. My heading style, so we can choose between H1, 2, and 3, and my subheading text. So all those things are created inside here. They're all editable in the same way all components are. So that's basically all there is to it. There's nothing more complex than that. What if you want to control what is and isn't shown inside the editor? Let's just jump back into Bricks a second, and I'll show you how you can configure that if you've chosen the option to manually select which components are available. So back inside Bricks, you'll see this is showing us the components, and you'll notice we've got a new button here, which is the Use in Block Editor button, which just looks like the WordPress logo. You'll also notice if we come over any of these, you also get that same little icon. So what we're doing is we can click on this, and we can see all the ones that are currently enabled inside the block editor. If we uncheck this, you'll see we get an extra one which is not enabled. So if we hover over any of these, you'll see anything that's not available, this will not be selected. So all you need to do is simply come in, select the ones you want, choose yes, you're sure, unselect the ones you don't want, again say yes, you're sure. So that's how easy it is to choose if and when any component is available inside the block editor of WordPress. So what are my kind of thoughts here? 
Well, it's still a little bit clunky in my opinion. I don't think components is particularly there just yet. There's various different things we really need to have more control over. For example, having to apply a class to change a background image, in my opinion, would be much smoother if we could just set a property on the background image itself. Even if we can't have all of the styling options available inside components, I think it's just a bit more of an elegant way of working than having to create classes specific to just changing a single property kind of gets a little bit unwieldy very quickly. And I think the overall implementation of components in Bricks is still just a little bit on the clunky side. So I'd love to see a bit of time and effort being spent on just refining how they all work and how we implement them into our workflow. But this is a good step forward. It does mean now that we can easily create a selection of different design templates we want to use as components, then give our clients access to those while not giving them access to the Bricks editor itself. Therefore, we can have control over the design and give content control over to the actual client themselves. I do still think there's work to be done here. Like I say, I'd like to see more control over applying properties to various different style options, but hopefully we'll see something like that in the near future. But as always, what are your thoughts? All applicable links are in the description down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.